Today we're going to talk about removing social security numbers from your network. As time has progressed, um, saving social security numbers on your network has become uh, a bad idea because of security re reasons and identity theft and so on. So we uh, found a program that will scan your network for social security numbers and it will also scan for credit card numbers as well. But for today we're just interested in social security numbers. After we ran this on our network, um, we found files that um, had social security numbers in it. Also, this program will detect false positives. So uh, um, after you're done running this, you've got a CSV file that has a lot of files in it that could or could not have social security numbers on it. So the next step is to determine which files you need and which files you don't and which ones you can delete. After we run the program, I've just created a temporary um, test example environment and we have four files that the find SSN program has found. So now what we're going to want to do is we will create a Excel spreadsheet that will make it easy for the user to exclude the file or delete the file. This right here is all the user is going to see. Um, after they, uh, and they have options to exclude the file or delete the file. When they uh, click on delete the file, we'll create an audit log here of what files were deleted. When they exclude um, a file, we will um, create a different um, audit log and it will have the reason why the user decided to exclude the file. Okay, so in order to run, so we'll, we'll now this is an auto it script that I've run, that I've created. So we're going to run the auto script and give it a command line of the test.csv file. And what it's going to do is it's going to create a special Excel spreadsheet that has macros enabled. And that's how the Excel, that's how the exclude and the delete work. And this is going to kind of flash up really fast. And the idea uh, behind, the, the design behind this is that um, if you needed to do a batch mode and you needed to do hundreds of different CSV files, this would be the process you would do. So there's the test.xlsm. There's our four files. Now it's going to create the macro file and it's going to paste in the VBA code. And now we're all done. And we have the test.csv and test.xlsm. Okay, so when when this Excel spreadsheet comes up, you've got to enable content and you've got to allow it to be a trusted document. So everything is now a hyperlink, so you can click on the file. Okay, this is a test. We don't need this file. So we can delete this file. Okay, we can go on to the next file. Oh, this looks like this might have social security's numbers in it, but we don't need this file anymore. So we can close out of it we can say delete it. Okay. And then for this next file is just the text file. Okay, keep this information. So exclude. And now when we exclude, we have the re we ha we can give a reason. Okay. And now as you can see as you go through each file it it crosses it out so you if you have to come back later you can save the file and come back later you can remember where you left off finally the last file is this PDF file okay this is a test PDF but that actually let me go back to that this was not actually a social security number so we can exclude that and that's um So now we can uh, save out of this, close out, and if we go to the test directory, you can see it got rid of the f two files that I asked to delete and it kept the two files that I asked to exclude. And if we go to the audit um, folder, and all these um, paths are configurable in the um, Excel SSN file deletion uh, Visual Basic script. Okay, it creates two folders, and then if we go to the deletes, we can set we can see the date 
the time, the user, the machine they were on, and what files they deleted. Now we can look at the excludes, the date, the time, the user, the computer, the file that was excluded, and the reason. And so this process um, was distributed throughout people throughout our building, and everybody took a um, small chunk of files to check, and we eventually removed all social security numbers off of our network. Thank you.